guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kat and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you my top 10 live streams that I watched thus far during quarantine. I'm so excited to be bringing this video to you guys. It has been highly requested. All of these live streams that I have watched will be linked down in the bio area so you guys can go watch them yourselves. Let's jump into this top 10. All right guys, so starting off my top 10 is Joyride, his Jeep live stream that he did was absolutely insane. The fact that he was just throwing down on the back of a Jeep was everything. Joyride just kills it anyways. It's always such good vibes listening to him. All right, number nine, Jaws's drum and bass set on Hard Summer. You guys, why did I not think that Jaws could do drum and bass? I just, it never crossed my mind and I'm so happy this live stream happened, this set. I was absolutely blown away. I love drum and bass, to be honest. It's like a guilty pleasure. And the fact that I was able to catch that live stream set, I was just so impressed. Number eight is Ducky, Hard Summer, you guys. This girl fucking brings it. I felt like I was at EDC 2020 because the energy of her set was just so good. It was unmatched that entire day. I mean, this set is something that you guys have to watch. Ducky is perfect. All right. At number seven, I have Alison Wonderland's Digital Mirage live stream set. I listened to this set while I was working out and I was busting my ass a whole lot harder than I usually do. It was so good. Alice in Wonderland is so talented. The fact that she sings, she writes, she produces, she is just so creative and I love the way that she presents her music and I love the fact that she really plays only her music or like her remixes because it is truly centered around her. And at number six, I have Gigi McGree for Middlelands. I didn't think that she would go as hard as she did, but she fucking brought it. I'm sure if you guys have watched it, you would probably agree too. I loved everything about her set. I loved the sexiness. I loved the way that she talked to the crowd. I loved the way she just like mixed her music in a way that I was not expecting. It was just so good. It had me in my feels, but it had me head banging. It was amazing. All right guys, so let's break into my top five. Top, my number five is Martin Garrix, his set in Amsterdam on top of his roof. What a beautiful background, like seriously, overlooking the entire city. Martin Garrix puts you in your feels the entire time. His sets bring nothing but nostalgia to me. And it's such a good chill on the couch, get your adult coloring book out type of set. And I had so much fun listening to this set. I was singing, I was dancing. My husband even sat and watched it. I mean, we love our Martin Garrix. Martin Garrix is one of the first DJs that my husband and I saw together. So anytime we can catch a set of Martin Garrix, it's just truly magical. Moving on to number four, I have Z Trip at Nocturnal Wonderland. I cannot get enough of Z Trip. That set and all of his mashups was everything my heart needed and more. What a fun night Z, Z Trip turned Nocturnal Wonderland into. Not that it wasn't anyways. Not that it wasn't anyways, but seriously, he turned it up a notch with that set. It was so good. You guys have to check that set out. All right, guys, my top three, let's do this. So I have Major Laser Sundays at number three. Enough said, Major Laser brings it. You're gonna be shaking your ass the entire time. I put this on on Sundays when I clean. Let's be honest, I always put on a Major Laser set, but the Sunday editions have been so good. I love how they have dancers. I love how They've all kind of been passing the mic around as far as who's commanding that Sunday for that day. It is just a set. Any of the major Laser Sunday sets are not something you want to miss. And at number two, we have Cruella, their MCTV throwback set, you guys. I thought I was seriously back in high school listening to Cruella. Um and everything that they had featured in that set. It was so good. I was like bouncing to some parts. I was headbanging to other parts. I was singing to other parts. 
I mean, this set embodied everything that you would want in a set. Definitely check that set out. Those ladies kill it every single time. And last but not least, my number one. Now, I kind of cheated on this, you guys. I have two sets at number one, and for good reason. They are everything. <laughs> they are so good. One of them is the Rufus Du Soul set from Joshua Tree. How magical is that background? I remember driving by the Joshua Tree National Park when I was out and about two years ago on a little road trip adventure with my family and I was so mesmerized by the beauty in broad daylight but the fact that Rufus Dussault played from like the very beginning of it going into sunset into the night I mean it was beautiful and the vocals were perfect I loved that set. I have that live stream set on repeat. I mean, it is probably one of my most watched live stream sets, if not my most watched live stream set thus far. Rufus to Soul, Joshua Tree, you guys have to watch it. And my other number one, I'm sorry guys, I'm cheating by having two number ones, but I couldn't decide and they didn't deserve any less than the number one spot. So the second number one is Cascades Grand Canyon set. It just dropped a few nights ago. Again, that background, I mean, took the words right out of my mouth. He played such a dreamy set, which completely matched his entire environment that he was playing in. Also too, I was like, scared for him when he was on that walkout, whatever you want to call it. I mean, I am extremely scared of heights. So the fact that he was just rolling with it and out there and playing and doing his thing, he it was like as if it didn't face him that he was so high off of the ground and there was nothing below him. I mean, that set was magical. It was so good. Cascade kills it every single time. You guys, those two sets are two that you have to check out. Like you have to, there's no if, ands, or buts. You have to do it. They will blow your mind. It is everything you've ever wanted and more in those sets. I mean, you can tell my voice is literally going out because I'm practically begging you to watch those two sets. I am so happy I put both of those live stream sets at my number one because honestly, they don't deserve any less than that. And there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed this top 10 live stream countdown decision making video. Do not forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye guys.